Have you ever wondered what the job environment is actually like in Phoenix, Arizona, or what companies are actually moving to Phoenix, Arizona? Well, stay tuned. We're getting after it right now. Hey everyone, this is Kelly Cook, and you have arrived at our YouTube channel, Everything Phoenix, where we talk everything Phoenix. Pretty cool name, right? Pretty straightforward. We're not messing around. We are passionate about helping people know and learn more about the Phoenix, Arizona area. This is our city. I've been selling real estate here for the last 16 years and living here for the last 17 and absolutely love it. Guys, if you wanna know more and more about Phoenix, Arizona and everything Phoenix, please ring that notification bell, smash the like button, subscribe, and you'll be notified every time we put a new video out on everything Phoenix. But certainly you can always email us, call or comment below and we will reply immediately. Okay, so what drives the local economy of a city? Well, it's companies moving there, jobs created, employment, so people have a place to obviously work, earn income, and spend money, okay? So we're gonna focus on those companies moving to Phoenix and why, okay? What's the outlook for the future for Phoenix, Arizona? So if you're thinking about moving here, would you have plenty of jobs, high paying jobs to choose from? And the answer is 100% absolutely unequivocally yes okay that's enough of that hopefully i sold you on that but we're gonna give you some details here so right now um according to the greater phoenix economic council which studies all of this and they are a big part of getting companies to move here they have said that in 2020 that one out of every three companies that have moved to phoenix arizona came from the state of california no shocker there guys there's a mass exodus leaving california coming to other states and phoenix is one of the cities that people are moving to the most from california to the tune of about 5500 people relocating uh, every single month okay so that's what COVID has really brought about or the post COVID area for the uh, phoenix arizona area now in a survey by the greater phoenix economic uh, council gpec they also found out that 56 people that live residents of the state of california also said they would consider leaving the state and moving to arizona that is huge so why is that because people are being basically forced out through economic and financial policies with the state of california given the high taxes given the high cost of living and the regulations that are that are basically burdening that that state and the people of that state so guys it is incredible the growth that phoenix has had and primarily due to the detriment of the state of california as well as other states where there are there are a lot of population growth coming here like obviously washington illinois minnesota and uh, things of that nature so i want to give you some stats here for the, the year 2021 and we're only uh, about halfway through the year here okay guys so in 2021 already 45 companies have relocated and moved to phoenix arizona that has created over 10,000 jobs and a, roughly about a 13 billion dollar capital investment into the state of Arizona. That is phenomenal, guys. And here's the best part. There are currently about 250, 250 other companies that are in talks with the Greater Phoenix Economic Council right now as we speak about possibly relocating and moving a portion at least of their business to Phoenix, Arizona. So guys, the future is bright when it comes to employment opportunities and earning a very, very good income right here in Phoenix, Arizona. In fact, since 2015, actually 634 companies have actually relocated and moved to phoenix arizona that is staggering over the course of five and a half years okay and it's created over 13,000 jobs in the manufacturing segment industry alone so who are all these companies that have moved or are moving down to arizona well there are quite a few as we just discussed but some of the bigger names are companies like this taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company which is one of the world's largest chip manufacturers moving into phoenix lucid motors their electric car company big investment in phoenix arizona just outside of phoenix arizona you have weebly you have gainsight you have silicon valley bank you have apple caterpillar blue yonder insight zoom and more Guys, there are a lot of companies, big names, that have moved down to the Phoenix, Arizona. Intel right now, guys, just announced a 20 billion, with a B, dollar investment in creating more plants to obviously continue to make more chips. So right now, you can actually make the argument that Phoenix, Arizona is the epicenter of the world when it comes to microchips. So we all know microchips are very important for so many different products across the country when it comes to manufacturing and, and the world, in fact. And so those jobs are high paying jobs. 
in the manufacturing slash tech industry. Another reason why most of these companies are looking to relocate to Phoenix, Arizona is because of the talent pool. Guys, there was a study put out that showed that Arizona, Maricopa County, Phoenix, Arizona right here was ranked number one in the country when it came to talent pool and the uh, amount of people that are qualified to actually support all these higher paid manufacturing and tech jobs. That is shoot. Now, as by comparison, Los Angeles wasn't anywhere on the survey to be found as one of the top cities or metroplexes with top talent. So apparently people in Phoenix were smarter than the average bear, right? We have some brains here in Phoenix. That's what they say at least. So that's cool. Now also the state universities have come out and said that they're graduating about 9,000 people every single year in the semiconductor industry space alone right? Getting ready for those manufacturing jobs with tech. So that is a phenomenal number. They are actually graduating people. So we have not just people with experience coming from other places in the country, relocating for those nice jobs. We have new people being educated through our uh, state university system to obviously handle those jobs as well. So again, Maricopa County, Phoenix, Arizona, huge talent pool for all these jobs and companies, which they love to see. And that's why they're relocating their entire business, if not part of it, down to Phoenix, Arizona. All right, guys, Arizona's economy is actually known by their five C's, all right? C's and Charlie, right? What are they, okay? We've traditionally been known by the copper, cattle, cotton, citrus, and climate. But you can make the argument that you could add three more C's to Arizona's economy. And those three additional C's would be chips, not the ones you eat, not Lay's, right? But obviously microchips for all the manufacturing that goes on, as well as cars, electric cars. I'm not sure if you're aware, but obviously you have Lucid Motors with a big investment down here in Phoenix, Arizona that we just discussed. And you have uh, obviously all the driverless vehicles with Uber and Google that have been approved to test pilot things. You have Nikola, which is the electric semi truck company, which is doing a big investment down here. And then outside of the electric industry, you have uh, Arizona has been one of the proven sites for manufacturers of cars for decades and decades from Ford to GM, Chrysler, to actually test their vehicles in extreme environments such as heat and the desert. So for decades, GM and Ford and, and the big manufacturer automobile companies have had testing sites for proving grounds down here on big parcels of land in the middle of the desert for many, many years. So cars have been a huge part of the economy. And now we have electric vehicles being a huge part of our economy. And the last C that you could probably make an argument for is construction, because there is a lot of commercial construction and residential construction occurring. So construction drives our economy a lot. Okay, now one of the last reasons why all these companies are super high on Phoenix, Arizona and moving to Phoenix, Arizona is because of the lack of regulations. So Governor Doug Ducey just came out and he said they have over the last several years have eliminated over 2,700 regulations that has basically equated to about a $150 billion tax cut on the corporation side to be able to allow more corporations to have a more tax friendly environment and to be able to test and prove and conduct their business right here in the state of Arizona, specifically Phoenix, Arizona. Now, the last thing we're gonna talk about is the water, okay? Because a lot of people think that there's this misnomer that Arizona is gonna run out of water really soon and so it's maybe a risk for these companies to come down here or maybe it's uh, for you, you're thinking maybe it's a risk for me to come down here because is the water okay? Will it be plenty of water for years to come if I come down with my family to Arizona? And the answer is absolutely yes. Right now, Arizona, the state of Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona says they have at least a hundred year water supply. So that is great news for any company or individual for that matter, looking to move to Phoenix, Arizona. Guys, if a company like Intel or Apple is going to invest billions of dollars down here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Trust me, they've done their research and the water is not of concern for them. Again, the governor came out and he said that right now, he goes, there's a lot of water that usage that has to take place for microchip manufacturing. So you think, well, the desert, why would they go there? Well, it's because Arizona actually is extremely efficient when it comes to recycling and reclaiming water that's already been used fact, he claimed that the number one country or place in the world that is best at recycling, reusing, reclaiming water is the country of Israel. 
but he said right behind Israel would be the state of Arizona. We are very proficient and efficient in doing so, and that's why, although it takes a lot of water to manufacture microchips as an example, companies are still flocking down to Phoenix, Arizona because they're not worried about that due to the fact that Arizona takes a very good and efficient outlook and use of their water supply. So guys, there you have it. Those are the big companies moving to Phoenix, Arizona. And guys, if I haven't convinced you that moving yourself or your family down to Phoenix, Arizona is not a good idea, I don't know what else I can tell you when it comes to over 600 companies, major, major companies with big time capital investments moving down to Phoenix, Arizona over the last five years. By them coming down here, I think it's a proven fact that Phoenix, Arizona is on the rise and we are not stopping anytime soon. So come on down to Phoenix or if you're already here, give us a call. Let us know how we can help you upsize or downsize, whatever it may be from your current living condition, your current property you currently own or rent. We'd be happy to help. Comment below guys. If there's anything you would like to have us specifically do a video on, we would be very intrigued to know what that might be and we will be sure to do a video on it. So comment below, let us know your thoughts and you can always email info at kellycookhomes.com. You can call at 888-KCREG11. That's 888-527-3411 and someone will get back to you if not myself, within 24 hours, if not much sooner than that. So guys, thank you so much. Ring the bell. We look forward to uh, seeing your comments and uh, hearing from you at your convenience. Thanks guys and take care as always. Oh, don't forget to call.